morning, this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We're looking at the MACDs, the moving averages and the day's support resistance and pivot levels. It is Monday the 12th of July. Fair start to the week for Bitcoin, looking at the hourly candlesticks. Bitcoin's going to need to avoid a fall through the pivot at 34050 to take a run at the first major resistance level sitting at 34784. Going to need to see plenty of support from the broader market for Bitcoin to break out from yesterday's high that was at 34,590. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and resistance at 35,000 to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Bitcoin target 36,000 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 35,324. Fall through the pivot, we bring the first major support level at 33,510 into play. Barring an extended turf on the day, Bitcoin should stay close up 33,000 levels. Second major support level sits at 32,776. Looking at the MACDs, we have a narrowing of the bullish histograms at the turn of the day following yesterday's late pullback. Need to look out for a possible bearish cross. On the EMAs, it's a bullish indicator, however, 50 pulls away from the 100 and is closing in on the 200. So look out for a bullish cross 50 through the 200 that would bring resistance levels into play. So key would be to avoid the pivot at 34,050 and break out from yesterday's high, 34,590 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will come into play. Moving across to Ethereum against US dollar, also a bearish start. Going to need to see Ethereum avoid a fallback through the pivot at 2132 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 2182. Support from the broader market is going to be needed for Ethereum to break out from yesterday's high, it was at 2173.37. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ethereum target 2250 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 2224. Just fell back through the pivot level. So failure to move back through the pivot at 2132 would bring the first major support level 2090 into play. Barring an extended self on day, Ethereum should still well close up 2000 levels. Second major support level at 2040 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACDs, we have a bearish cross at the turn of the day coming off the back of yesterday's late pullback and this morning's decline. So look out for a widening of the bearish histograms that will put further pressure on Ethereum. On the EMAs, the 50 has flattened on the 100 and 200, but it's still a bearish signal. So key through the early part of the day would be to move back through the pivot at 2132 and break out from yesterday's high 2173.37 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. Moving across to Litecoin against US dollar, also a bearish start. Going to need to see Litecoin move back through the pivot at 134 to bring the first major resistance level at 136 into play. Support from the broader market is going to be needed for Litecoin to break back through to 136, however, so barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 136.44 to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Litecoin target 140 before any pullback, second major resistance level sits at 139. Failure to move back through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 132 into play. Barring an extended self on the day, Litecoin should stay clear of sub 130s. Second major support level at 130 should limit the downside. Looking at MACD's widening of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day coming off the back of yesterday's late pullback and this morning's declines. So look out for a further widening there that would indicate further downside ahead. On the EMAs, 50 has narrowed marginally on the 100 and the 200, but no signs of a bullish cross as yet. So keep an eye on that. So key would be to move back through the pivot at 134 and back through to 136 levels to bring that resistance at 140 into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against US dollar, bucking the trend early on, positive start to the day. Going to need to see Ripple's XRP avoid the pivot at 6323 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 6474. Support from the broader market is going to be needed for Ripple's XRP to break out from this morning's high, 64482. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ripple's XRP target the second major resistance level at 6599 before any pullback. Fall through the pivot, we bring the first major support level at 6199 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, 
Ripples XRP should stay well clear of sub 0 0.60 levels. Second major support level 6048 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACD, slight narrowing of the bullish histograms, but no sign of a bearish cross as yet, so keep an eye on that through the morning. On the EMAs, the 50s closing in on the 100 and narrowing on the 200, but no signs of a bullish cross as yet, but keep an eye out through the morning for that. A further narrowing would support further upside. So key would be to avoid the pivot at 6323, break through this morning's high at 64482 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will come into play.